Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this 15th day of December, 2013. Oh, yes, the year is very old, has a big, long, white beard. As we prepare to go out with the old, in with the new 2014, ladies and gentlemen. And as Matt Drudge said about a year ago on his Twitter feed, 2014 is everything. And I already knew that and had thought about that. But in the last year, I think about that tweet almost every day because I realized that 2014, to a great extent, will probably be the most important year in our lifetimes. Not just for this country, but every other nation. All of the dots are connecting. Everything is intersecting in 2014. That doesn't mean things won't be a lot crazier for better and worse after that. But the set of things, the way it's going to go, so much of it is 2014. Liken it like the Bible does to bringing up a child and then releasing them into the world, like drawing an arrow back uh, on your bow and then releasing. And then once you've released, it's out of your hands to a great extent when the child's 16, 17, 18 years old. It's the same thing. So much of what we've seen is the pulling back of the arrow and the different forces battling for where that arrow is going to go. And now it's up. And the forces are all engaged, and 2014 is the release of the arrow. That's the best way that I can describe 2014. It is a momentous year. And we've seen incredible things happen in the last year. You notice there's a quickening politically. This happens historically at the bottom of a decadent cycle. You add into that the singularity and high-tech changes and uh, the acceleration of knowledge, but also the acceleration of decadence. Just all these tidal forces of nature are colliding in together right now. And I don't want to hear anybody, anybody say that they are bored. Now, obviously, we've got a lot of news uh, that I want to cover here. But I went and saw uh, The Hobbit 2, The Desolation of Smog. It was an excellent film, very entertaining Good for kids as well as adults. Um, not as good as uh, the first Lord of the Rings, which is one of the best action adventure sword and sorcerer films ever. But it was definitely excellent. Smog made the movie. Peter O'Toole, by the way, died today. We're going to be talking about that great Shakespearean actor. Just watched him about three weeks ago with my children uh, that we watched uh, with my, over at my parents' house uh, one night. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, very well done, accurate historical film. To understand the entire Middle East today, you need to watch that movie. He died. We're going to talk about that. China lands a jade uh, rabbit robot rover on the moon. But I saw an ad for a new Matthew McConaughey movie coming out. The same guy that put out the last Batman uh, called Interstellar. And I went and looked up the uh, secretive synopsis on it. But I was sitting there next to Rob Dew. I went with Rob Dew and my dad and my son and his, his kids. And I looked at him and said, that's how we should brand what we're doing to get the message across to keep humanity moving forward. The intro to the Interstellar trailer, they're not paying me to plug this. I, I was going to do this tomorrow, I'm going to do it today. Guys, go grab the new Interstellar trailer. It just came out yesterday. I looked last night online. It just came out yesterday. I saw it in theaters the first day it was out. Uh, and we're going to uh, play that uh, because it really uh, lays it all on the table. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show. But first off, I want to just mention some of the headlines that are up on infowars.com. Uh, media works to keep mass murder shooters profiles secret. Again, media is working very hard to keep mass shooters profiles a secret we have put together uh, that just was published minutes ago a breakdown of some of the uh, modern mass shooters uh, detailing the fact that across the board they're democrats and then they share with that being satanist or occultist uh, and being on psychotropic drugs and being obsessed with shoot 'em up games you want to profile somebody it's that uh, also uh, we're going to get into the Trans-Pacific Partnership that's bigger than NAFTA and GATT. 
bigger and more dangerous than Obamacare, is what the editor of the New American Magazine, William F. Jasper, says. And I agree with him. We're going to be breaking all of that down. I want to take you now from Infowars.com to DrudgeReport.com. I hadn't looked at Drudge in the last couple hours. I printed articles off there hours ago. I got here about three hours ago. And then I was already deciding what I was going to cover first, what was most important. And when I got to the site, lo and behold, Drudge also had separately thought that that was most important and had it as his top story. Obamacare Exchange mistakenly debits bank accounts. And if you click on that, that is being reported by major television stations across the country from Seattle uh, to other areas. KGW reports of erroneous Washington Health Exchange debits. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain something to you. If you go back, and I don't have the crew or the staff to do this. Many of you listen to every show or listen routinely. You know we've done countless reports on this in the last four years, warning you, reading the bill. You know in the last few months I've told you Obamacare is designed to fail. The site is being used to get your personal data, to debit your bank accounts, and to take your tax refund and to garnish your wages. They didn't hire 17,000 new IRS agents in the bill to debit your bank accounts and your wages for nothing. And you're like, but Obama promised they wouldn't do that. If Obama says zig, you zag. If Obama says up, you go down. If he says left, you go right. I don't know how else to explain this to people. And folks wonder, you know, how we know all this stuff. I'm obsessed with this, how the world works. Not with football, not with how to act cool. And I'm not, I'm not putting you down if that's what you're into. You know all about football scores that can impress your buddies watching ESPN together while you get drunk. That's not going to make you successful in life. If you like to do it a few hours a week, I think that's healthy. If you do it more than that, you're mentally ill. And that's why I'm so mad at all this entertainment and 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 uh, Cayenne West and uh, Justin Bebel Snap or whatever his name is. All these people is because it steals everyone's future. We don't look to the stars. We don't admire trailblazers or scientists or researchers or firemen that go into a house and save a kid and get hurt. We admire and hold up as a sick society gladiators. And that's what you do in every culture that's getting ready to collapse. Every indicator, it's there. So that's why I talk about that so much. Uh, you know, I saw a report yesterday, Saturday, that had been on the InfoWars Nightly News that David Knight uh, hosted, uh, weeknight, 7 o'clock, and I'd missed that TV show. I usually get home and watch it. Or after it's live at 7, I'll you know catch it later after the kids go to bed at 9 or 10. We restream it, or you can download it at InfoWarsNews.com. And I, I didn't watch it Friday, so I watched it yesterday. I watched the nightly news uh, yesterday evening. And they came out with a company, Palantir, funded by the CIA, hooked into Google, PayPal. And it turned out in their internal documents, this came out in the Snowden documents, and, and David Knight in a five-minute report breaks it all down. There it is, a cover-up of PayPal's NSA involvement. And then it goes into the Palantir. And, and what is a Palantir? That's what you call a crystal ball in Lord of the Rings. For at least a decade, I have called the NSA Google system a Palantir. I've probably done this 500 times or more. You can count, find countless videos where I liken the NSA to Mordor to the Eye of Sauron. I told you they would use the Obamacare site to steal your bank accounts. It's now begun. Now, that's easy to know because I could read the legislation. This, I likened it to a crystal ball. Gandalf's talking to uh, Sauron, the other wizard. And he says, you have one of these? These are dangerous. He goes, why should we be scared to use them? Because we don't know who else is looking. That's the thing. It's two-way. But when you use Google or any other Bing, any big Microsoft search engine, when you use that, it's looking back at you. And it knows everything you're looking at, everything you're doing. But it's tied in to billions of Palantirs around the world. You only have access to one Palantir. And you can do incredible things with a search engine. It is an NSA opt-in, get the mouse to jump on the mousetrap, get the bear to put his leg in it. 
I'm just telling you to be aware of this. And then it comes out that they, it gets leaked that they call it Prism and Palantir and liken it to a crystal ball that they're looking at you through and basically likening themselves to Sauron. I mean, I can look at what they're doing. It's Sauron-like. I call them Sauron for more than 10 years. Then we get documents. They're calling it the exact name of what I call it. And I don't know if the chicken or the egg came first. The point is, folks, I make mistakes in things because I'm doing so much. Nobody can get all this stuff you know, perfect. But at a deep level, I know what I'm talking about. At a deep, deep, deep level. And I'm not bragging here. I'm just saying I know this stuff is shocking that we discuss here. But I've got the Palantir that God gave me. I don't need a Google system, even though I do use it. But I realize with great danger. I can see historically and currently and in the future politically. Don't need a, a magic carpet. Don't, don't need a magic wand. I've got the electrochemical computer God gave me. Anybody, though, could see we're going into hardcore tyranny. I saw the head of PayPal in that same report. In fact, I want to cue this up later going on Charlie Rose. You should just trust the government and do whatever they say, like it was Britney Spears. Remember when she said, just do whatever the president tells you. Shut up and submit. That's the way of freedom. They say the same thing. Then they've got Meet the Press or one of those shows on with Hayden re-airing clips of it when I was in the coffee room earlier and he's going just trust us be adult about this and let us spy on everything you're doing see they've gone from we promise we're not spying on you oh you caught us just be adult it's for your own safety when we know they're predatory it's amazing all the big news coming up straight ahead I'm Alex Jones The InfoWars crew absolutely loves coffee because we love being awake. And I am somewhat of a connoisseur of coffee. So many times you go to a restaurant or even to a coffee shop and the coffee tastes like garbage. And in all the different coffees I've tried, my favorite is grown in the high mountains, in shade, Arabica, on the border with Guatemala in southern Mexico by the Chiapas farmers. I make sure we've done the research. I make sure it's the very best product that we can offer you when I put my name on it. And I believe, and it's my taste, so you may differ, that this is the best coffee in the world from Southern Mexico. Wake Up America Patriot Blend, 100% organic, Arabica shade grown. And then we have the Immune Support 100% organic coffee infused with a special type of mushroom known to boost the immunity. This coffee is seriously so smooth. I normally have to douse my coffee with cream and sugar and cinnamon and all kinds of tasty treats, but this I drink this black. It is so good. Well, that's why I like it is that it has a kick. It has really good caffeine in it. It has a good clean wake up that lasts for a long time. Doesn't give me a headache, but it's so smooth. It's so delicious. Just try it out for yourself. I'm telling you, this is my favorite coffee. We went through a lot of trouble to bring you this. Just try it, and I think you'll be hooked like we are here at InfoWars. Well, folks, find out for yourself and support the information war today. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this live Sunday worldwide transmission, the 15th. Hard to believe 2014 is about to be here. You blink more than once. 2013 will be gone. All right, I have masses of budget news, world news, gun news, military news, Pope Francis news. It goes on and on. But you have to understand a lot of people are saying, how can the government pass a health care bill written mainly by foreign banks that own foreign offshore insurance companies to double, triple, quadruple premiums, lower quality of care, take the control from patients and doctors, set up death panels? It's all admitted to be accurate now. And then we just blame Obama for it, but he stays in office, and then the bill stays in place. 
And Republican leaders like Boner and others, John Boehner, do not want to reverse it. Because the same special interests that finance them finance the Democratic leadership. You've got the Republican and Democratic leadership coming after the real organic grassroots Tea Party, trying to destroy them and saying, oh, they're discredited, they're bad, but they're blocking progress. While George Herbert Walker Bush's grandson, I'm going to cover this later, in Texas, running for state government, land commissioner, George P. Bush says he's a Ted Cruz Tea Party person and doesn't like the New World Order. Isn't that just special? Do you believe any of that? The point here is that we are the opposition to this takeover. The real libertarian constitutionalist. We are the majority of thinking people. And that's why Republican and Democratic leadership want to bring in another 30 million legal aliens, give them driver's licenses, give them government welfare, and say your job is to vote how we say if you want a free ride. That's the social engineering plan. And if they get that, it's game over. Quite frankly, if we could get 30 million illegals in here, get them to be patriots and own guns and promote free market, I'd say do it. We need more workers in this country to compete. The problem is it's a death sentence to this nation. If the, they basically follow a socialist collectivist ideology, and almost all the illegals do, because they get a free paycheck. They go out and work, by the way, 15 hours a day. They just get under another name, another paycheck. That's on record. The government set it up that way. And if they get this, folks, it's game over. They will collectivize this country and the offshore corporations that run it, the corporatists. Lou Rockwell has an article out today explaining that. So does Slate Magazine. Uh, here it is. 2016 looks disturbingly good for the corporate estate with Hillary and Chris Christie, who, who are identical in policies. Just one looks like Job of the Hutt, the other, the Wicked Witch of the West, uh, rear end. And the issue here is. Folks are either going to figure out what's going on in this society and stop letting the establishment lead us around by the nose, or it's over. Now, getting back to this Rubicon point, crossing this, this, this threshold, that's how tyranny works. Like a parrot before it steps on a branch will test, test, test the, the perch. They're testing if we'll put up with them taking our guns. They're testing on MSNBC nudging. Uh, hey, your kids belong to the state. They're testing setting up highway checkpoints and TSA infesting the airports with all this security theater while Al-Qaeda is run by our government in Syria and Libya worldwide and they're giving them control of the whole world, basically. And Africa, I mean, it's just incredible. And if they can get away with, oh, the exchange is screwed up, 100 million people tried to sign up but couldn't, but we got your data and we found out who doesn't have insurance, that 50-something million, and now we know who to go after your wages that you don't have it. They were identifying you. That's what it was meant to do. And then wreck the old healthcare system. And the architect of it, Rahm Emanuel's brother, Dr. Ezekiel, we played that clip probably 30 times. I'm not going to play it again. Said on Fox News Sunday two months ago that it's meant to wreck the healthcare system. Exactly what we told you. They've done this in other countries over and over again. It's like I have a TiVo and I'm rewinding the Monday night football from last week. And I've already seen it in the play five times, and I'm telling you what's going to happen. You're like, oh, yeah, right, conspiracy theorist. They do the same thing in country after country. It's like instant replay. <laughs> I mean, this is not my opinion, folks. You can differ on my interpretation of the, of the data, but, man, it is naked. It's not hidden. Big corporate interests like to wreck countries and consolidate power. They're not free market. And they're the enemy of real free market and the enemy of prosperity. And man, if we don't get that, folks, we're done. We are done. Done, done, done. And by the way, I, I was told this, and it was even sent copies weeks ago, but it was so bombshell. I said on air, I guarantee you they're already taking people's bank accounts. We were already getting listeners sending us stuff and saying, and the bank tells them it's a mistake and, oh, you'll get it back, but then they don't. So I'm going to go ahead now and go back over all those emails we've got in the last couple of weeks. And, I'll, and now I'll authorize Curtin M.O., Paul Watson, Steve Watson, Adon Salazar, and all the rest of our writers, uh, Mikhail Thalen, Anthony Gucciardi, Kit Daniels. I will now authorize them to go ahead and go with that. It's just that we weren't sure if it was mistakes or not, but now it's clearly not mistakes. They're doing it all over the country, and we, we predicted they would.
I mean, here it is out of KGW.com, mainstream news. Washington State. This is what they do, folks. And, and people are now having telemarketers call them all over the country that have been on this. And people are now getting swindled. Of course. Of course, because it's a test. They can say, oh, it's broken, but keep signing up. And then they can have, you know, the Maroon 5 or whatever that idiot group is, you know, have that guy come out, the sexiest uh, trendy, according to trendy publications, uh, and say, I'm for Obamacare, so all the idiots go and try to sign up. I mean, this is really a joke, folks. This is all part of exploiting people. It's like Cayenne West comes out with a $130 shirt that costs $3 from Hanes and says, I'm going to show what idiots my people are and my power. They're going to pay $130 for it, and they go out and buy it. I mean, it's all about betraying you. It's all about screwing you. It's all about making a joke and pimping you and gaming you and jacking you up. $800 in the negative. The first thing I thought was they... I got screwed. Last October, the Bruners enrolled for insurance on the Washington Health Plan Finder website. They say they selected the bill pay date to be December 24th, but instead, the Health Plan Finder drafted the $835 premium today. You know, big knot in my gut because, you know. And by Oprah the way, folks, it's happening, it's happening through the Obamacare system as well. We're going to have that out tomorrow. But the point here is that they're seeing what you'll put up with right now. And if you act like sheep and roll over and act powerless and don't take action in different ways, speaking out against it, filing lawsuits, whatever the case is, demanding states nullify it, demand Congress repeal it. I mean, you'd think this is the most unpopular b bill, an unpopular law in the last hundred years. No one denies that. It's down to less than 10% support. Congress has a 6% approval rating, and they won't repeal it. They're walking all over us. Well, our boots are made for walking on them. We're going to come back and get to the Newtown anniversary and the fear-mongering and demonization of the Second Amendment and the real profile of these mass shooters that the establishment state-run media does not want you to know. The article's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Right now, media works to keep mass shooters' profiles secret. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infowars.com. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infowars.com. Yeah. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> hey.